Hey, what's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC.com. So today we have the M600 Toolkit RC. Now, uh, this was sent to us from Banggood, so I'll put those affiliate links down in the description below. But let's get into what comes in the box here. So you do get a USB cable, you get the device itself, you get a screen protector. I tried to put the screen protector on there. It got some bubbles in it, didn't like it, so I ripped it off. But it did have actually a little sticker on the side here that said, uh, exit, up, down, okay but I've since ripped that off because I would, like I said, I wanted to put the screen protector on it. Now the instruction manual too, kind of like kind of skim that through. Like I said, I'll put the link in the description below. And uh, any of that kind of stuff that you're trying to troubleshoot that this thing can do, you know, you can read up on it more and also find other videos to, uh, you know, help maybe troubleshoot of what all this stuff can do. But this thing can handle like LiPo, Life, uh, Nickel Metal, and so on. So uh, yeah, like two to six S LiPo, the device itself, XT60 uh, that's on here, DC 7 to 28 volts, so you could do a 2S LiPo to a 6S LiPo plugged into the input here. Also, as far as your receiver plug that you could plug in and uh, do some testing as well that I'm not 100% sure on, so I'm gonna kind of go <laughs> slide over that one. Um, and then you have your USB. So uh, this USB too, you can power up the unit itself if you have a big battery bank that can handle power, you can charge up another battery. So I like that part of it. And it does have a big fan on the back. It's got the little flip down legs. So that way when you're charging, you're letting that cool air get in. But uh, yeah, even on the other side of it here, it has a two to six S balance port. Again, you got your XT60. So let's go ahead and kind of give you a little bit of a scenario what you can do with this thing. Uh, what I've already done with it because I don't want to give you stuff that I don't know anything about so um, This cable here is going to a power supply off of a PC You can find this stuff online uh, how to do it and everything like that, but I got my power supply and I have my XT60 uh, You know, this is 12 volts that's coming into it here It can do like I think 18 amps or so and that's plenty because this thing can only handle 10 amps anyhow so um, no big deal. I think it's actually 12 amps is what my power supply can handle. But anyway, nonetheless, this thing can only do 10 amps anyhow, 150 watts. So uh, you will need an external power source. So there's some options that you can do too. So let's say you have a 3S LiPo. It's pretty big, 5,000 milliamp. You got this little tiny dude right here. Now these things are like, let's say this came out of WL Toys. It's only 1,500 milliamps. This is a 5,000 milliamp. So we could charge this one a couple times, depending on if this thing's fully charged, dump it. And the nice thing about this little unit too, is uh, let's go ahead and power this thing up so you can kind of see the menu and all that good fun stuff. Powers up real quick. Uh, this part's not touch screen, but um, this part over here is what you're gonna be using to control everything. So your little up and down arrows. So you can do like say for charging, but let's go ahead and go to settings. So this battery right here, this is our input battery, right? So we wanna know like what's the lowest voltage this thing you wanna dump it down to. So you can set that based on, let's say I'm just gonna give you an example. This is not what you should set it to, but this says 11.1 .1 volts, right? So let's say we did do that, 11.1 .1 volts. Okay, there's our cutoff. So we can put it 11.1 .1 volts. We don't want this battery to go down any lower. So that's our input. So we set it to that and um, also, uh, there's other things that you can do with this too. So let's say you're discharging a battery. There's a lot this thing can do and it's a lot of information just to go over in one video. So um, anyway, I'm gonna keep, skim through a bunch of stuff, but you can discharge, now it has internal. So it says discharge mode internal. So it's gonna discharge into this device and it's gonna take a while, but uh, you could discharge into your LiPo battery that you still have hooked up, dumping it back in there that's pretty nice. So you're just recycling your power. So you're not really wasting much power because if you're gonna run it again or whatever, it's just kind of saving from you charging the constantly the battery. So I like that part of it. It's really cool. So that part you can go to internal, you say recycle. So what it'll do, like I said, it'll recycle it, dump the power into the battery. Now, don't put it on recycle if you have an external DC power source because that could damage something, I'm assuming. I didn't try it, not gonna do it. Uh, just, it doesn't make sense to try to dump power back into something that's trying to deliver power. So only do it when you have a battery hooked up is what I'm getting at. So there you go. So I'm just gonna leave it on internal for right now. 
and you can do it this thing will beep and everything every time you you click on stuff but right now I have the buzzer turned off but if you you want it on you know you can hear it all but for the sake of the video I'm just trying to keep it off but you can do different modes too so like dark mode is what we have it on but we can do light mode which now you can't see nothing so dark mode is where it's at <laughs> Uh, there's con yeah, there's a lot of stuff different as far as languages go, and I'm not going to change it because then I won't know what the heck it's saying. <laughs> um, you know, measuring stuff too. So let's go ahead. I'm going to unplug this right now. So there we go. So it's turned off. So we're out. We want to know what the voltage of this cell is. So we're going to go ahead and hook it up. So we got to make sure our negative is to negative here. Even if it got flipped around, it won't damage the unit, but it just won't work. So then we got this. The only thing is, you're gonna have to make sure you have an XT60 or or an adapter so you can you know plug in and check the unit. But here we go. Now I've done this video a few times to be honest with you, and uh, it was at 3.79, but now it's uh, dropped over the few times that I've been doing this video. So anyway, there you go on that part of it. But at least it shows you what individual cells are. So I like that part of it. That's just a storage charge. Anyhow, max voltage would be. Uh, 4.2 volts per cell. Now we could use our external power supply. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that for right now. So we'll go ahead and I'll turn that on. So now we're on, now we're using a PC power supply at this point in time and we could charge stuff up. But this thing is really cool. Lots of things that you can do with it, but I wanna kinda of skim through it all with you guys, but it is really, it is nice. Never had anything like this, and there's a lot to go over. Um, but you can charge your battery on your cell phone. So let's say you're at home, anyhow. You're, you know, you want to keep an eye on this thing. You don't want to let this thing sit around charging up batteries without being around it. So don't do that. Make sure that you're keeping an eye, a mindful eye, on this charger. Why it charges, just in case you have something set incorrectly by whatever, uh, you know, whatever and something happens. So be very careful what you do and uh, know what these settings are and stuff like that. So um, yeah, definitely appreciate you guys watching. If you want more of me doing a little bit more with um, you know, charging and what have you, you know, leave a comment down below. It's like, yeah, I'd like to show you a little bit more in depth of how you charge, how you're discharging and, and so forth. Then I'll do another video for you guys, maybe even a live stream of it or something like that. And you guys can ask questions on stuff that I know. And I'll say, hey, I don't know what that is exactly. But for now, definitely appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out at OMGRC. But, and again, I'll put the affiliate links down in the description below if you guys wanna get one of these. But until next time, this is Joe. You guys take care and I'll catch you on the next video. Later.